apologies there. I seem to have uh, dropped my pen. Uh, uh, defense, prosecution, you both ready to begin? Uh, yes. Defense, are you ready to begin? Yeah. All right, no worries. This court is now in session. My name is Jeremiah Hendricks, and I'll be your magistrate this evening. I will not tolerate any tomfoolery, funny business, or any such in my courtroom, or you will be getting contempt of court today. All right, to begin with, uh, prosecution, if you don't mind, can you stand and uh, introduce yourself, your rank, and what charges you're bringing forward today? I'm First Constable Fenrir Lothbrook with Victoria Police, and today I bring Jack Cassidy before you. I'm seeking the charges of four counts of arson and possession of an unprojectile weapon. Threats to kill was on the cards, but I'm willing to disregard that charge. The evidence I bring to you is two DNA transcripts, six photos and a hammer. I'll also be presenting my own testimony of the events. Dally. Uh, Alright, sorry, you're the evidence again there, sorry, so two uh, DNA samples, was that it? Two DNA yeah. transcripts, testimony. six photos and a yes. hammer. Yeah. Uh, yes, if you don't mind uh, handing them to me. Yeah, well then. Sure. Give me, please. Why? Really? This case is fucked up. It's okay, what I've had a bit of grub, I tend to go pew pew. Uh, okay. Um, so fans, if you could please stand and introduce yourself. My name is Jack Cassidy, and I am innocent. Okay, good. So, uh, I should just actually quickly confirm. Uh, for Constable, are these different instances of arson? It all happened at the same time period, which I'll explain. Uh, so are they at different locations, or...? Uh, yeah. Each row in the documents case is a different location. Dally. Uh, Mr. Cassidy, every are you pleading... <laughs> you said you're innocent, so are you pleading not guilty to all charges? Is that your intent today? Yes, 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 yes. That will be correct. Uh, so, you don't need me to split them up or read them off to you? You're just gonna plead not guilty? Yes. Okay, no worries. Are you bringing forward any evidence today? Uh... No. So just your own testimony, I assume? Yes. No. No worries. All right. Uh, prosecution, if you want to stay under present your case, you'll have eight minutes, and we'll be adhering quite strictly to that time today. At approximately 5.30 this morning, the 29th of January, I just clocked on duty at Mel 900 and saw a white Porsche 911 acting suspicious outside the station. I followed them round the side of the building where I noticed the side door was ablaze. After gathering a photograph of the scene, I put the fire out and collected the DNA from the centre of the fire. This was run in the evidence lab and came back for Jack Cassidy. The individual was apprehended outside Mail 900 by Port 250 Senior Constable Mel Rue Mellet and was brought inside for questioning. During this time, Sergeant Casey Hills had noticed several of the fires around the station and had run the evidence in the lab and all DNA cells came back to Jack Cassidy. Whilst in the cells, Mr. Cassidy gave a rather exciting tale of events, talking about protecting some mustard whilst being bombed and being tackled in front of every single door at the station, hence why his DNA was there. During this time, the individual brandished a hammer which was left on him as he works at Rack Fee and stated, I've got a hammer and I'm not afraid to use it. After I informed him he would now be charged with possessing an unprojectile weapon, he stated, I didn't even do it, I'm going to effing kill you. 
Boy. This was followed up with, I didn't make threats to kill, it was an expression of interest. I'm happy to let that one go. After a very drawn out questioning, Mr Cassidy did actually admit to starting the fires. I made the decision to bring the defendant to court, given the number of separate fires that had been started at almost every single doorway of the station. I will be seeking the maximum sentencing for these offences, as a lot of police time has been wasted, amounting to just under 40 minutes, and the fires were unnecessarily started on a very important building within the community. Time had to be taken away from protecting the community to deal with a very childish act. I would also just like to add, Mr Cassidy currently owes $477,984 in outstanding debts. That is all, Your Honour. Objection! Alright, yes, what is your objection? I'm actually working very hard to pay that off. Uh, it's an objection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, alright. Either way, uh, the, the fines are not really relevant to this case, so we'll move on. Oh, let's go. That's all, Your Honor. Alright, so you rest the uh, I do. prosecution. Okay. Uh, yes, defense, if you want to uh, rise and present your case. So, at approximately 4.30 a.m. this morning, I was being chased by a guy that had a knife. Uh, he kept tackling me when I was screaming for help. And then, I don't know, these red people just pulled up and just started throwing bomb, trying to bomb me with Molotovs. It was very scary. So I think I should be proven not guilty for all of the charges. I did not commit any offences. But I do plead guilty to having that hammer. I was trying to joke around and it didn't really turn out well. So you're changing your plea at the moment for the possession of a weapon? You're changing yes. it to guilty? Yes, okay. yes. Yeah. Is that your entire defense? Yes. Uh, you may take a seat. I'm going to ask a couple of questions of both of you here. Now, prosecution, uh, mm. were the fires already started when you were at the station? Uh, yes, you are not. Okay, and uh, so you didn't hear anyone running around uh, and uh, screaming for help? Uh, negative, you are not. The only person in the area uh, was driving a white Porsche, and then Mr. Cassidy proceeded to get out of the white Porsche. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Mr. Cassidy was what? So the only person in the area was circling the building driving a white Porsche and then Port 250 um, apprehended the individual after stepping out of the white Porsche. And that was Mr. Cassidy, correct? Yes, sir. Alright. And uh, Mr. Cassidy, spinning a fantastic tale here, I would like to hear what these individuals that you say appeared and started uh, throwing Molotov cocktails at uh, every seemingly station door. Uh, what did they look like? How many of them were there? And, uh, and why didn't you call for police assistance? There was about five. Uh, okay. they, they, they were wearing white t-shirts. They didn't have any hair on their face or their head. It's very scary. Um, the reason why I didn't call police is uh, because I, I was thinking if I'm calling out for help and they're not showing up, there'll be no police around. Okay, so let me get this But straight. I was just, burned just in the confirm, process. You're, you're saying someone was chasing you around with a, a knife uh, happened to be at every station door that they tackled you at and then another set of individuals appeared Ooh, in cars and started throwing Molotov cocktails at you at those same doors. Yes. They were throwing it at me, my, well myself and the guy that was chasing me. That's how we lost eyes on each other. 
and then my friend came to pick me up at a port, and then I don't know where he went. He like fell over, and like I was left in the car by myself. So I just started driving around the station looking to see if he got out and he found the person. That's why I was circling the police station. Because I was looking for my friend. Objection, Your Honor. He's already admitted to starting the fires. In the cells. Yeah, was he under caution at that time? He was. Objection, that is not true. He was under caution. Well, I don't really need to uh, ask any more questions here. I've come to the decision that I will find you guilty of four counts of arson. I do not believe uh, the coincidence that you were tackled at every door and then different individuals happened to throw Molotov the cocktails at you at every single door. Uh, and then, just then, you stated to me that uh, you had a friend who appeared in a Porsche and uh, attempted to assist you. My question is, well, it's not even a question at this time. Uh, why wouldn't you bring that person here as a witness to help your case? Uh, and uh, as you pled guilty to uh, possession of a non-projectile weapon, you'll also be found guilty, and you'll be receiving 110 weeks in the Fort Phillip prison. That is my decision. My decision is final. Court is dismissed.